Hello, I'm Dr. Manita Rattan, and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. As you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator, specifically for skin of colour. As you should also know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored, and they will never be sponsored. This is an evidence-based library for my skin of colour family globally, so that you can come and see whether or not a product is worth your money, or whether it's whether you should sidestep and avoid. Unfortunately, a lot of products on the market have many claims on them. And then when you turn and you look at the ingredients list at the back, they may have no actives to support the claims. So the actives at the back of every list, every piece of packaging. So for example, this is Hiram's packaging. Um, there's a list at the back called the Inky List, I-N-C-I. The Inky List will tell you in descending order the ingredients in the product. If you've watched 10 or more of my videos, you really should be able to analyze at least half of the inky list at the back of every skincare product in the world. And you should be able to tell me whether or not that product is likely to work. So I call you guys my team, my Dr. V Inky Hackers. If you've watched more than 10 of my videos, because it means you can do that. It means you tend to have the best skin of your life. It means that you don't waste money on marketing. And also you tend to teach those people around you, your loved ones, where they maybe might want to improve their skincare and the mistakes that they're making or if they're wasting money, etc. So if you are one of my Dr. V Inky Hackers, can you write the word yes below? Because I really want to know how many of us are there that are able to to decipher the back of the, the packaging. All right, so today's video is reviewing Earth Rhythm. I have been asked so many times to do this video and finally, I'm sorry it's taken me so long, but I finally I managed to sit down and uh, go through the inky less of uh, all the products in Earth Rhythm. So this is, I think, primarily for my Skin of Colour family in India um, and Yes, I want to do this for you. I, I, I'm trying to get around to every country in the world and make sure that I'm covering all the big brands in every country so that, you know, everyone is spending their money correctly. If that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. Okay, starting off with the first product, which is the Phytoceramide Moisturizer. So this is a NAFE safe product. So NAFE safe is a phrase that I coined, which means no denatured alcohol, no fragrance and no essential oils. So denatured alcohol is a short chain alcohol, is volatile and it evaporates quickly from the skin, removing water from the top layer of skin so it can dry the skin. I do not like this for skin of color because we already have less ceramides in our skin than Caucasian skin. So we already tend to have drier skin and as we age, our skin becomes even drier. Um, and so I tend to say avoid denatured alcohol. I say avoid fragrance as well because fragrance is the number one cause of contact dermatitis. Contact dermatitis just means inflammation of the skin. And inflammation for us can equal more pigmentation. And the last one is essential oils. I said avoid essential oils because they are skin sensitizers and I do not want you to do that to your skin. The other important thing for you to note that with skin of color, one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyper pigment. This is why we cannot afford to inflame the skin. Our melanocytes are large. Those are cells that produce the pigment melanin and they are easily triggered. And that's why this whole channel exists is to teach you how to sidestep those products that can lead to further pigmentation. Okay, so, oh, that's a, a big mouthful. <laughs> but basically, this is a nave safe product. So the first uh, three ingredients are water, aloe, then ceramides. So I think the formula is likely to give you short-term hydration. There are not enough humectants, emollients, or occlusives for all-day hydration in this inky list. I do like the formula, but it's up to you to decide whether or not it's hydrating enough for your skin. For me personally, I'm on the fence, and I probably wouldn't purchase this particular product just because I tend to want us to use more ceramides, more occlusives, and a thicker moisturizer. Okay, so moving on to the next one is the 10% niacinamide. So this is the classic mistake that got made. The Ordinary came out with 10% niacinamide and basically everyone just copied the Ordinary and made 10% niacinamide. But the problem is 10% niacinamide uh, can lead to breakouts. The clinical studies that have been conducted were conducted from two to 5%. 10% can lead to breakouts and reactions, which I don't want 
for our skin of color family because that can lead to pigmentation. I do prefer two to five percent, but I do like this particular formula. It is nave safe. So, you know, if you're if you're enjoying this product and it's not leading to breakouts or reactions for you, I'm happy for you to continue because I do like the rest of the formula. If you want to know about niacinamide and benefits of niacinamide, please do watch my niacinamide video. The key benefits are it controls sebum, it reduces any erythema or redness on the skin, it improves sensitivity of the skin, it's great for rosacea, uh, is great for pigmentation too because it prevents those parcels of melanin from going from those the melanocytes to the surrounding skin cells called the keratinocytes and so you see less pigmentation on the skin. So niacinamide is a great ingredient. I, in fact, I formulate with it in all our products. So even the facial pigmentation kit for skin of color or the dark circles kit for skin of color, um, we use tyrosinase inhibitors and obviously niacinamide. Okay, so the next product is Skin Ultimate Glow Serum. So the first ingredient here is water. So obviously the highest percentage, then glycerin. Then they use Terminalia Ferdinandiana fruit extract and then magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. So essentially this is a vitamin C serum. The thing is, um, it's hard to see from the website whether this is an airless pump or not. If it's an airless pump, then I would purchase it. If it's not an airless pump, then I wouldn't because don't forget vitamin C is an antioxidant. It oxidizes in oxygen. This means that in your, if it, if, for example, if you've got a vial and there's oxygen sitting around your antioxidant, it's going to have oxidized. It's a little bit like when you cut a banana or, or an orange or an apple. Why does it turn brown, you know, within 30 minutes? It's because it's basically been oxidized. And this is why you want it to be in a vacuum. In, in that airless pump, there is no oxygen in there. So it's in a stable form. It is one of my favorite forms of packaging for any antioxidant serums that I make or ceramide creams or peptide creams for that reason is that a lot of these ingredients are not stable in oxygen. So I actually prefer their Glow Boost Concentrate, which has got 20% ascorbic acid as it is liposome technology. That means there's better penetration and less irritation. If it wasn't in this liposome capsule, then I wouldn't recommend it because 20% is quite high for ascorbic acid and can be very irritating on the skin. Yes, I would rather you purchase that product over this. Okay, so the next product here is the Rapid Repair Concentrate 2% Retinoid. So I, I love that packaging is an airless pump, excellent, 10 out of 10 on packaging. Um, they use a hydroxypinacolone retinoate, which is a new form of vitamin A. There aren't many studies done on it and the ones that have been done have been paid for by the manufacturer of the ingredient, the supplier basically. And so I tend to be more skeptical and I will reserve judgment on this particular ingredient until there are more studies done on it on it and from an independent source. Okay, so the next product is the Blemish Control Azelaic Acid. So it says 10% azelaic acid, but I'm a little bit suspicious of the inky list on this one because it says the 11th ingredient here is azelaic acid, but then it says it's at 10%. So really in theory, it should be the second or third ingredient on the inky list, unless it's an azelaic acid complex, in which case they should say that not 10% azelaic acid. Plus, they wrote water twice in the inky list, uh, which is inaccurate. I don't know how much I'm trusting this inky list. And they made a similar mistake, to be honest, on the smooth skin concentrate too. Yeah, um, I'm a little bit suspicious, if I'm honest. Ending on a positive note, <laughs> uh, is a squalane 100%... You can't really go wrong with this because it's basically one ingredient. This is a skin identical ingredient. We already have this in our skin. It's a very good barrier oil. So what I would say is, for example, if you've moisturized and especially with aging skin, you may want to create put a barrier oil on top. I like marula oil, I love squalene, and it just basically prevents too much transepidermal water loss, so too much evaporation of water from the top layer of skin. In the morning, I want you to wake up and I want your skin to feel supple and hydrated and delicious. I don't want you to feel dry and you know, like your skin is cracking and that can happen with age. So I really like this product and I would 100% tell you to buy it. So I've done lots of brands for you from India. I know a lot of us are in lockdown and I just wanted to do my bit to entertain you for about five minutes. <laughs> if there are any other brands that you want me to review for you, I am always here for you. So please just write them down below. I am in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. So do hit that notification bell. Don't forget to download your free guide for skin of color. Please do download it because I try and teach as much as I can. The link is down below as well. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram 
at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and Skincare by Dr. V. And um, I don't know if you have TikTok right now yet, but maybe in the future. And that's Dr. Benita Rattan. Thank you very much for watching.